Franco Villegas, a TikTok user from Chile, fearfully shares eerie encounters with intense supernatural phenomena at home. During sleep paralysis, he sees unsettling shadows turning around, and to his horror, he feels a mysterious, painful bite on his back. He's petrified, questioning the reality of the chilling experiences. Franco installs a home security camera to capture his nighttime experiences. The camera rolls, unveiling his world. As Franco continues recording with the home security camera, an enigmatic figure slowly emerges on the footage, seemingly undetected by his dog, who remains peacefully asleep throughout. The mysterious presence casts a faint, eerie glow in the dimly lit room. Undeterred, Franco continues documenting his nocturnal experiences. Over the next few nights, a startling occurrence takes place when something unexpected tugs at his bedsheet. Unaware of what lies ahead, this is only the beginning of a series of eerie events. Bueno, son son las eh, las una de la mañana casi y nada para ser concreto como ven no tengo audio ni ni música en el video porque Nada, me golpearon la puerta, muy fuerte, muy fuerte Y estoy solo Despertamos todos, todos los gatos Y están todos muy fijos en la puerta Así que voy a mover la cámara Apuntando hacia allá Veremos mañana en la mañana o en la madrugada Si capto algo Two days after the bed sheet incident Unexplained knocking began from his bedroom door Franco, feeling uneasy, repositions the camera towards the door before settling in for sleep. As days pass by, five uneventful nights offer a glimmer of hope. On the sixth day, while Franco sleeps, something unimaginable unfolds before the camera. The camera reveals the door ominously creaking open, and a pale-faced woman slowly appears, casting an eerie gaze into the room. Franco's heart sinks as he watches the chilling footage, overwhelmed by dread and chilling sensations. In a determined effort to find a solution for the haunting spirit in his home, he turns to his viewers, seeking their valuable assistance. One viewer suggested a seance advising him to hold a lit candle in front of mirror. This might help to establish contact with the spirit. Estoy solo acá en el baño. Bueno, me dijeron que he traído una vela y un espejo y iba a poder hablar con ella. Amiga, por favor, te pido que me dejes solo. Te lo pido, por favor. Ah, con tu madre. The identical figure reappears briefly before the camera pans to an empty bathtub. Franco stands alone in the room, puzzled. On a tranquil night, Franco records himself playing with his cats. Suddenly, an unsettling intrusion terrifies him. Hay ruido en el primer piso. Está... Ah, con ¡Ey! ¡Ey! Ah, no, güey. Ah, con tu madre. 
Franco's sudden halt in uploading new content leaves viewers in uncertainty. His fate and whereabouts remain unknown. So was his house really haunted or was it a hoax? Let me know your thoughts. TikTok user Party Paranormal, Zach, shares chilling encounters in his haunted home. Touch the antenna out on the, on the counter. There's a light next to it. I hear you tapping. I want to communicate. I have a few things set up for you to communicate with me. Zack captures eerie sounds and an opening door in the kitchen through his security camera. A few days later, the basement camera records a dark anomaly swiftly flying across the room. Intrigued, Zack decides to investigate further. Was it a genuine shadowy figure? Share your opinions in the comments. On the Midwest Ghost Hunter YouTube channel, Intrepid investigator Ion sets off on a daring expedition to explore Indiana's notorious Blackford County Jail, renowned as the most haunted jail in the region. As night falls and an eerie atmosphere envelopes the surroundings, Ion begins his investigation of the premises, known for tragic deaths and haunted by ghostly footsteps, disembodied voices, and chilling apparitions in the corridors. Armed with limited information, he cautiously delves into the mysteries that lie ahead. If there's anybody in this jail, and you can hear my voice, could you come talk to me? I hear that there's a man by the name of Ed Townsend. I heard that you were the sheriff here. You passed away from a heart attack, but they say that somehow you're still here. Holy shit, dude. Dude, 
dude, those were footsteps! Holy sh! They were walking in that room over there. Dude, that literally came from back there. Damn. Did you just walk? Was that you just walking? I unrelentlessly tried to make contact with the former sheriff, who had tragically passed away within the jail's confines. Frustration mounting, he left the sheriff's office only to encounter an enigmatic event that instantly seized his attention. Whoa, what the? Okay, Ed, I feel like you are definitely in here. What the heck it was that? That was so weird. Dude, that literally sounded like somebody was in there. What the heck? It was so quiet in there. Like nothing was happening. And then right when I walk out, that happens. You know what? I'm gonna try walking out again. Okay, Ed. I'm leaving for sure this time. No f***ing way, dude. Again! Again! Dude, there's weird sounds going on in there. Every time I walk out, it happens. That's twice. That can't be like a coincidence. Sound like paper, almost. Alright, Ed. I can't tell if you're, like, messing with me now or what. I mean, either way, it's fine. I'm enjoying this. As the clock struck midnight, Ion's ears were assailed by the mysterious movement of objects, though none were present in the room. Intrigued by this paranormal phenomenon, he resolves to delve into the depths of the basement. That, but here goes nothing. Are there any prisoners down here? This is where they kept the worst of the worst. Oh! 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 oh. I think I heard somebody down here. Whoa, 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 what did I just see? What did I just see? I just seen something on the ground. Holy crap. It didn't look, it didn't look like a person though. Amidst the unsettling noises and a few words that slipped his detection, there was no tangible evidence of any entity in the basement. As he cautiously navigated the narrow tunnels, an ever-growing sense of proximity to something or someone became unmistakable shrouding the haunting corridors with a mysterious presence. just got thrown at me. Oh. 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 Ion sprinted outside the tunnels, the jarring sound of rocks hurling behind him fueled by adrenaline. Taking a moment to compose himself on the staircase, he was determined to establish communication with the otherworldly entity behind these unnerving occurrences. 
Oh, oh what the? What the heck was that? Dude, something just hit me in the freaking head. What the heck was that? Oh, whoa. What? Is that a ring? Oh my god. Dude, I just got hit in the head with a freaking ring. Oh, shit, I dropped it. Where did it go? Dude, what the heck? Like, who, who threw something at me? Some, some just hit me in the head. In rapid succession, a sequence of eerie incidents unfolded, leaving Ion astonished. Undeterred, he proceeded to venture into the attic, fully aware that even stranger things were about to happen. Were said to have taken place. Is there anybody here that was hung from this? Whoa. Dude, I think I just saw an orb fly by that thing. If that was you, could you do that again? Were you hung here? Were you executed here? <gasps> dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dude, that thing is swaying back and forth. I can't believe that! Dude, it's literally just started swaying back and forth! Dude, now it's slowing down! It stopped! Oh my god! Dude, my light is dying! I can't stay up here. I can't. I can barely see my freaking flashlights dying too. All right, all right. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm sorry, little girl. Thank you. In the attic, eerie events unfolded with the rope swinging mysteriously and the faint sound of a little girl's laughter echoing through the space. Feeling increasingly unnerved, Ion hastily left the attic, overcome by a strong sense of unease. In the men's shell block, his respite was cut short as the situation turned dark and ominous. Making sure y'all are in your cells, like you're supposed to be. Hello? What the f was that? Oh, oh my god. Oh, enough. Oh, that was in this cell. That was in here. What the heck was that? Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the? Oh, look at it. Dude, holy sh! Something fucking just destroyed that cell. Come on, Ian. Just go. Just do it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna piss you off. Oh, just one look. Oh, just one look. Just one look. Holy sh! It's, holy shit. Dude, this whole cell is destroyed. Did I make you angry? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to piss you off.
the Blackford County Jail bore witness to an unseen entity forcefully hurling a mattress and physically pushing Ion out of the cell, revealing a powerful and highly active spirit. The relentless intensity of these encounters left Ion shaken to his core. The final incident became the tipping point, forcing him to reluctantly conclude the investigation for the night.